Hello, welcome to this high cut short clip. This video deals with element installation. It is now possible to install arbitrary 3D elements or sheet metal cassettes with a configurator. The installation could be done with Elucobond cassettes, in this case detailed SZ20 cassettes. Another option would be to create your own feature variants and you can install these also with the configurator and a grid, which you have either created yourself or obtained from an architect. Let's suppose we have received an IFC file from an architect and based on this file we now want to establish a manual grid. This means a grid which we have created with a 3D sketch. We would either refine it with HCM constraints as presented in this video Or we could receive a DXF DWG from an architect which already contains a grid, which we could then load to HiCAD and adopt in a HiCAD sketch and then use it for the installation. As I said, you either do it via HCM constraints or, and for that we are quickly going to delete the HCM constraints again, you could use the dragger to draw lines to the point where you need them. Draw the line again with the dragger and then place it. There may be more elements, like windows and doors. You could ask your supplier to create and send you dummies, which you could then load and itemize. You could later on model your respective connections with the help of the dummy, or create them in the HiCAD glass facade engineering. I have already prepared something. We have already installed the window elements and could start with the element installation. We would select the Alucubon system cassette or create our own feature variant with which to do the installation. We now begin with the Alucubon SZ20 cassette and allocate it. In the dialog we can define which semi-finished product we want to use and what the connections should look like. What should they look like on top, bottom, left, right? You can determine all of that in the dialog. A big advantage is that it is all in the feature log. This means it is always possible to go back to the dialog window and change one or more things. In this case, we would delete the elements which we don't need and we might highlight the elements which should be moved to the back and do so with the offset function. Next up are the respective connections, top, bottom, left and right. Here in the attic area, we could set the connection to top, and the values can be edited, of course. The same is done on the left side. and in the inner area too.
We highlight the respective elements, select the connection, confirm and do the same on the other side. Highlight, connection left, select and then confirm. Here, in the inner area, we would not create the flange as a preparation for the connection to the window, as we will create the flange in detail ourselves. In the lower area, we would create a connection with a length of 200 mm, and the rest we would do in detail. And here once again, the sketch is still linked to the individual elements. If we take our sketch and move it and calculate it again, the respective elements would move according to the sketch lines too. Let's go to the sheet area and look at the sectional and detail view. In the detail view, we can create our connection to the window. This would be done with HiCAD standard functions. By attaching the flange, confirming it, and then you could proceed in further detail views. You could have also continued in the first detail view, but this goes to show that you can use different sectional and detail views for the details. Again, in order to make the connection to the window, we could attach the flange, then we select a plane for the angle parameter, and then we want to lengthen the sheet to this plane, of course. We select the connecting edge. We want to go up and we go back to this plane for the angle and to define the length of the sheet. We have thus created our window connection. And everything else, whether it should be riveted, screwed or other processings can be done with the normal HiCAD sheet metal functions. Moving on to the sheet developments. In the development section there is one favorite setting which has been created together with the Cobus company which already contains all relevant information in the development, meaning designations, where the designations are placed, and of course the typical milling location where the processings should take place. They are marked too. Here is another example of a development in the attic area. Here too all information is contained. It is a lot quicker and easier to write all sheets or all sheets from a list in one directory and maybe export the result list in a text document or a CSV in the directory in order to directly read it out and process it at the machine. We now return to the element installation with your own feature variant, meaning you have created the variants yourself and placed them in the catalog. These can be processed in the same way which we have seen earlier with the Alucaban system cassettes. Here too you can use the offset function. 
you can delete certain elements. Basically, the things you have seen earlier can be done with the feature variants which you have created on your own. However, they might look differently. Depending on the variable names which have been assigned, they might appear under these variable names. If they are significant enough, you can edit them respectively and receive a great result. You can highlight and change the values respectively and then receive your result too. Once again here, a sheet metal flange, a superordinate assembly, additional components on the sheet metal cassette like this mounting stud. Okay, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other videos regarding the improvements. Thank you for watching and goodbye.